I decided to use the heatless method to stretch my natural hair. I did not want to use heat or blow dry my hair at all. So I opted to use bands to stretch my hair. In the front, I parted my hair from ear to ear and did nine braids across the front. I found that this stretching method was very beneficial to my hair. The hair in the back was done in a zigzag pattern. This was my first time doing the zigzag pattern. I was very impressed with my skills, although I do realize that I needed one more row in order to further reduce the bulk of my natural hair. Although this style works great under the crochet braids. I'm using Jamaican Bounce by Urban Beauty. The brand is Natural. It was $6.98 a pack at my local beauty supply store. Here I'm showing how I use the crochet needle to go through my braid instead of underneath the braid. Using this technique helps to reduce the bulk of the crochet hair as I crochet it onto my hair, allowing me to use less strands of the hair. I'm also using the traditional crochet method of pulling both strands through. And this is the back of the hair. The hair once separated, um, I noticed that it was very frizzy so further on I did not separate the hair as I did here when I finished the crochet I did go back and use foaming mousse in order to further reduce the frizz that I had created by separating the curls It took me a while to do the zigzag pattern because this was my first time doing zigzag braids. This is the final result before I cut the hair. I did go back and add small pieces of the crochet hair in the front, which I separated three times from one strand. And I reduced the frizz of the smaller pieces by using water and Eco Styler Gel. I was very surprised at how much this hair looks just like my natural hair. And now it's time to cut. Thank you all 